Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Basel in Switzerland. And today we're going to talk about ways that tourists kind of upset the locals when they come here to Switzerland. And these are things that tourists might not know they're doing when they do them, so I think it's something good to know so you can ingratiate yourself better with the locals when you're here in Switzerland. And I think one thing you need to really start with is just realizing that there is no being late when you're here in Switzerland. I mean, they are very much on time, whether it's a meeting, a train, a bus, or, or a get-together. And here's the thing, the train waits for no man, time waits for no man, Swiss wait for no man. So just know that you need to be on time because if you are late, it's kind of like an insult to the locals. So that's one thing you need to realize. Now, another thing that I think is actually the most important one as a tourist you're gonna see here is don't be loud. Look, if you are loud here in Switzerland, it upsets the locals. Like I'm here on the river by myself trying to stay away from people so I'm not being too loud to bother the locals. And they really do like their relaxation, calm time when you're here. And you'll actually see there's actually regulations about when you can make noise, when you can't make noise. I've heard stories about people that were told in their bed and breakfasts and their, their Airbnbs, don't flush the toilet late night to wake up the neighbors. So you have to think about that. And even if like, like if you're in an apartment rental, do not do your laundry on Sundays, okay? Because the noise might be regulated away, but whether you're on the train or walking around or having dinner, they don't like the loud stuff here, okay? <laughs> And kind of going along with being loud and talking, another way you might not, not maybe up, upset them, but maybe annoy them a little bit, is trying to start small talk with the locals. Look, the Swiss will look at you like, why is this person who I don't even know trying to talk to me? It's just not a thing here. They're more introverted here than extroverted. So if you're a small talker and like to talk to people like I do, it might be, it won't be taken the wrong way here, but don't expect a lot of people to be kind of coming back with that small talk to you. Now, if you do get to talk to them and you're one of the things you're gonna talk about is probably food and they're gonna ask, did you have fondue yet? Or did you have roquette yet? And just cheese in general is a fantastic thing here. And one way you're gonna upset them is if you say, you know Swiss cheese, and it's based on the Swiss cheese at your local grocery store back home that have big holes in it. You know, the kind that they show like in Tom and Jerry cartoons as what cheese is, look. People here will be like, dude, that's not Swiss cheese. That's your processed stuff. We in Switzerland have tons and tons of different cheeses. I mean, literally each region has its own kind of cheeses and it's not just the cheese with the big holes in it, okay? So that might annoy the uh, the locals a bit if you do that, but probably what's gonna annoy them a more is if you're doing fondue with them and you don't do right fondue etiquette, knowing when it's your turn to stir the fondue up, okay? So be aware of that. And also, here's another thing that you would have no idea, like I had no idea about this until I was out with some friends a few years ago here in Switzerland, and that is with raclette. You'll see raclette, it's like this big wheel of cheese and they like warm it, oh, it's so cool. Like they warm it up and then they cut like a little bit off, watch, they cut a little bit off and you put it on top of your potatoes or on the side of the potatoes. And that's one thing that's gonna annoy people a little bit if you don't do it their way. Cause some people swear it's on top of the potatoes and some people said it's on the side of the potatoes. Honestly, they're all great, but just know that might be a little um, bone of contention with some of your local friends. Now, another thing as a tourist, and you'll see this in our videos, we talk about how expensive Switzerland is. And I'm gonna say, you're gonna annoy your Swiss friends if you talk about all the time how expensive Switzerland is or how boring Switzerland is. Look, nobody likes when their country gets insulted. And, and for the Swiss, it's not that expensive because they get paid very well here. So what you feel is expensive is not necessarily expensive for them. So they get a little bit tired of hearing that. Now, the boring side, yeah, this is this is not a very exciting place to go for clubs and partying and things like that, but it is exciting for nature. If you're going hiking, oh my gosh, it is just so gorgeous going here in the mountains. So go out and explore and have your nightlife be getting back from a great hike in the mountains. And then there's one where one of my Swiss friends specifically asked me to remind tourists not to do this, and that is don't ask us if we speak Swiss. Because look, in Switzerland, there's four official languages, okay? There's German, there's French, there's Italian, there's Red Romanish. And the thing is, is, not everybody speaks all four. It's kind of like you learn your regional language, and then you learn English, and then maybe one of the other ones. But there is no Swiss. Swiss is all the languages combined because there's so many languages here. There's so many international flavors here. So don't, 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 don't say, do you speak Swiss? Because that's one of the things that it may be a joke, but it's a little annoying for the locals. Anyway, I hope this helps you be a bit ready to meet some of the locals when you're here in Switzerland and you don't upset them when you're here. So if you want to see some other videos about Switzerland, maybe you want to see five love and hates of visiting Switzerland or budget tips for visiting Switzerland, because you know, the money thing. Um, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also here on YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, all those places at Walters World to help you travel better. Anyway, I'll say bye from here in Switzerland.